Hello everyone. Um, I want to do just a really quick unboxing video, uh, even though I don't usually like to do these. This is a long-awaited Foxy Fix that I just literally just got at my door. Um, so I want to do this because when I was doing research trying to find the perfect Foxy Fix, or not really just Foxy Fix, but the perfect traveler's journal, there wasn't a whole lot of information out there. It was really hard to track down videos on basically comparing the sizes more than anything. Um, not just the sizes, but the leather. So that's why I want to do this video because I want to show you guys what it looks like, about how big it is. Um, I'm probably not going to do a set up video since I'm going to be using it as a journal and that's pretty personal. So I'm not sure I would want to do a set up video, but who knows. Um, anyway, so that's why I want to show you guys real quick because I'm going to make sure to title it with exactly what type and size this is for people out there like me that were having a hard time deciding, okay? And excuse my hand, I was just cooking for me and my son and I burned it. So anyway, um, I'm going to do this real quick. I'm going to try not to ramble on too much. Okay, so let me show you real quick. This is how it comes packaged. And you have the box says Foxy Fix. Cute things are happening. It's very well done. I mean, it's not, it doesn't look like it's been put through the ringer, but that's to the U.S. Postal Service, not, not really anyone else. Um, she shipped this, let's see, I ordered it not even two weeks ago, so it probably took about a week for her to make, since I did special order it. Um, and then it got here once it shipped, I think it, I got the notification that it shipped on, on Wednesday. And today is Saturday, so it got here pretty fast. I was really excited that it got here today instead of Monday. So, let me just get in here. I literally have not opened this yet, so that was really hard for me. Cute little packaging that I've seen with her logo on the inside and made in the USA. Make sure there's nothing else in here. Alright, so that's all that's in there. The only thing is that I like to reuse boxes because I also ship stuff out um, to other people and this one would be a little difficult to use because it's promoting her name. I mean, I'm sure she doesn't mind the promoting, but I don't want to use her, her brand or anything. Maybe I can cover it. But anyway, so it comes in this plastic sort of newspaper bag here, so to keep it protected in case it gets wet or anything. I'm sorry, I don't really have a good backdrop going on here. It's just my my living room coffee table, so it's not the best. Um, anyway, don't mind the background noise either, my door is open. This was a spur of the moment video, I just wanted to make sure that you guys really saw it. So this is her little card that everybody's starting to, I've seen people starting to rave about because it's so cute. Uh, it just says, Foxy Fix Handcrafted Leather Travel, journals and accessories made in the USA, um, it's just postcard style. So if you can see all that, it's really, really cute. I actually wish I could use this border design here in the Traveler's Journal, but anyway. Okay. Invoice, and then we're wrapped up in tissue paper here. Mm. like Christmas morning, I kind of can't wait to rip into it. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Okay, so let me just tell you what it is real quick. It's beautiful. Um, this is the Foxy Fix, obviously, Traveler's Notebook. It is the Wanderlust leather, so it's got that ripply, pebbly look. And I'm trying to do it in natural light for a good, you know, true-to-color effect. Um, this is in the wide size. So this is what I had a lot of hard, you know, I had a really hard time actually deciding what size I wanted 
for my journaling and this is actually perfect so you got here's my hand my hands you know pretty average girly hand maybe a little on the smaller side um, this is actually perfect and I'm really glad I didn't get the personal because I thought that the personal was a little bit bigger um, and then I realized this is definitely better for me um, I can't really do a perfect size comparison but this is a lot of people also call this the Kaye size C-A-H-I-E-R um, although I've seen Kaye on other like moleskin inserts on other sizes so I really don't know that this specifically pertains to just the wide size but when you are shopping for traveler's notebooks a lot of people use use Kaye excuse me something's going on with my phone use Kaye and wide size interchangeably um, so just an FYI but I don't think it's a rock solid um, term for referencing just this size just my opinion not not many people seem to know exactly what that word means so Google it enjoy um, okay so I'm gonna get into it I got the band in black this originally when I went to go look on her website, she said, I guess she had some already made and they had a mint strap and I, I'm really glad I didn't get that because I like the way the black looks. Um, and I did opt for the stitching around the edge and I'm really glad I did. And it looks really good. Um, I just wanted that extra little finished look. I guess that's just where she ended the stitch. Um, and this, you know, let me see. If, it says Foxy Fix here, made in the USA. I saw in some other videos she had not been putting made in the USA, so I think that's kind of cool. And this one is on the strap, this elastic, which I like. And it seems to me that her earlier editions not only did not have the made in the USA, but it also had the strap coming out of the back here, which um, I'm really glad that that was changed up because I would not want it coming out of that. I'm, I'm new to Traveler's Notebooks, but I'm pretty positive I would not want it in the back. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, first of all, this is a very firm, I can't remember how many millimeters they said this was, so I'm not going to say for sure, but it's a heavy duty strap and it is pretty firm. So it's going to hold it nice and tight. It's not too tight. It still feels really good, but it's durable feeling, so. Oh god, it's so pretty. It's exactly what I I mean, I could not have imagined this any better. I don't know if any of you obsess the way I do over things, but I definitely did a ton of research on this and I'm I'm so happy. Like I, I imagined it. As soon as I placed the order, I've just been drooling over pictures of it and videos of it and imagining it and I tell you it's it's exactly how I imagine. It is perfect. Okay, so you can see when I lay it down, because the straps are a little bit firm, <clears throat> which is a good thing. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they'll give over time, especially once you start putting notebooks in here. Um, but you can see it sort of pulls the ends up a little bit. So there's nothing wrong with that. Um, it does come with four straps. I believe you can opt for fewer. And I'm really glad I got the four. I guess you can adjust, yeah. So that one feels a little bit looser. So you can adjust these around. And the the inside, I love how rough this is. It is very rough. I don't I don't have any for comparison, but this is one of the reasons I wanted this one because I wanted a less refined looking, I guess, suede. I'm not really sure what this inside is. But anyway, it's very long and I love it. It's kind of rugged and rustic looking, but still really nice. And these are the same size bands. They're all very firm. Um, I don't always do traveler's notebooks, but I have some here, so I can't show you how many will fit. But I can show you kind of ooh, what it looks like. Once your inserts are in, I only have three Molstein. Um... Let me see. I think these were just the 5 by 8, 8.25. Yes, let me see. So you can see the size here. Um, 5 by 8 and a quarter right here. 
okay? And I actually got these at Target for about 12 bucks, 12, 13. So let's see. Oh God, I'm so excited. Look, and there's still plenty of room around the edge. I don't know how important it is that you really find the middle, but for the sake of not driving anyone nuts, I'm going to make sure I do. I'm actually curious about that. If you don't put the strap in the middle, which I know everyone makes a point to do, does it tear your pages up or anything? be interesting to know. I wouldn't want to test that one myself and end up ruining a book. So, All right, so that's with three. And it fits really well. There's still plenty of room. There's tons of room. See that? And there's no, there's no overhang here. So I just kind of wanted to, I don't have any others. I really, I have some on the way. This is not a regular book, but it's something. It's actually from the Target dollar spot. Just to show, I don't know if you ever get those little journals from the Target dollar spot, but that's actually kind of cute to be honest. So when I put that in, <clears throat> it still fits with no overhang. Look at that. So, I mean, I think I'll be able to fit at least three more books in here, honestly. So, there you go. And I did not get the pen loop because I, sorry, there's someone skateboarding outside. I did not get the pen loop because I, I heard some complaints about it. Some people love it, don't get me wrong, but that it makes it very, first of all, it's very heavy here on this leather, and it makes it very um, sort of lopsided because it's such a thick, heavy pen loop. So I'm glad I didn't get that, and I really think that, um, let's see, I really think that it won't be a problem to just keep a pin here, I don't think, I'm not really sure, so, yeah, I don't see why that would be a problem, no need, and if I, if you could always add a pin loop to one of the pages, you've got plenty of room to add it up here if you want, one of those stick-on ones, okay, I think that's about it. Um, let me see if there's anything else I can say. The leather is very soft, just like I imagined it would be. Oops. Um, I believe that in the videos, I was watching one video from Boho Cottage, actually. Oops, sorry. Where she was reviewing and comparing four, four different ones. Um, and I can link that video below because I actually found that really helpful and informative as far as the leather quality of the different places that will make them like Chic Sparrow, Foxy Fix, uh, oh, I can't remember the other two. Anyway, so I'll just, I'll link, I'll, I'll link her video if you want to see it because I found it super informative. But anyway, what I learned from that and some other videos was that Chic Sparrow's leather might be preconditioned um, and so it might actually be a little bit easier to roll when you first get it, but, and then this would be like second in line to as far as how, not floppy, but um, pliable. So, but this one is, if you can see how easy it is to roll, very, very pliable. I mean, it's just, but yet when you, you saw when I had the books in it, it doesn't just like, you see it's opening a little bit when I set it down, but that's going to give in, I know it is, so. You can tell it's just new leather, so always do the smell like everyone does, and it does smell good, just like you'd expect. So I couldn't be happier. Thumbs up to Foxy Fix, honestly. I, and everything I read, everybody not I never saw one review that was even close to, or was any less than awesome about Foxy Fix. So kudos, good job. Let me know if you have any other questions. I'm very happy. Highly recommend Foxy Fix, um, even for your first one. Everything just looks perfect and it feels amazing. So let me know if you have any questions. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Again, this was a wide 
not to be confused with the slightly altered wide size that I think Chic Sparrow does. I think every company probably cuts their leather differently. So this is the Foxy Fix wide, and it does seem to fit perfectly with these moleskins here, okay? All right, so thanks again. It's starting to get kind of noisy here. Again, let me know if you have any questions. Appreciate you watching. Bye.